Get your server running in the background and then start the deploy tool. For your first web service, you might want to make certain that nothing else has been deployed. This isn't strictly necessary, but it's probably a good idea until you get the feel of things. If there is anything shown in this list as being deployed, you can remove it by selecting it and by selecting the Unemploy button on the right. As you can see, I have a deployed version of a web service left over from the ex prior experiments. When I did this to make sure that it's going to work, I'll just uh, take that out. There, it's undeployed. Now, our first step is to create an ear file of a new application. The next thing to do is to create a war file and stick it in the ear. The deploy tool has figured out where the war file should go. Now watch this because if you have more than one EAR file, it could guess wrong. But you'll need to select the name of the war file itself in any case. And you'll need to edit the list of the contents of the war file. As you can see the, by the structure of the contents of the web INF directory that it's ready to receive some files. Now this one just needs the four files if your service has more class files in it, those will need to be added also. It also needs to have the WSDL file and the mapping file added to it. Notice that the deploy tool knows where they should go and puts them there. And you go to the next window, and it needs to be specified that this is a web service that's being deployed. We're defining a new service and need to specify the WSDL file and the mapping file. They've been added to the list, so they are available for selection. The two blanks below, the service name and the service display name, are filled in for you. And now you need to select the service endpoint implementation name. This selection causes the rest of the page to be filled in for you.